Skyria. Not talk about the drama. Yeah, I'm talking about it. Yeah, I'm talking about me and my mom. Not talk about the drama. What can I do for you on this? between Bether and Andrew you want as your acolyte oh so you can wait so does that mean you'll play the game with bet there are Andrew? Okay, so I might have to do multiple gameplays of this. Next gameplay, I'll do Andrew. Really? I knew it. You did? I mean, I knew there was something fishy about him. He just has creep written all over his face, you know. How did you find out? Um, I can't believe I'm about to say this, but sometimes. When I clean the rooms, I get a little curious and, um, you know, snoop through our guest stuff. Sneaky. And Mr. Spade caught you in the act, I suppose? Yes. He took pictures of me. I... I found them hanging over the bathtub. He set up a kind of dark room. I think... I think we should call the police. No! That's a terrible idea. But Sophie, that man has pictures of you running your hands through people's stuff. But I didn't steal anything. I was just snooping, I swear. I know, I know, but say a client reports something missing. Yeah, Sophie, you should not do that. Big red target on your back. Well, I threw them out. Yeah, not your worst idea, but you found the pictures drying over the bath, right? Yeah. I'm no photographer, but I've been in one of those dark rooms before. You have? Yeah, I modeled for a while. Anyway, what I'm getting at is, those pictures were developed recently, but it doesn't mean there aren't more elsewhere. Well... I didn't look through the entire room, but the piece is safe here. I bet you anything there'll be more pictures in there. Do you have the safe combination then? I'm pretty sure it's locked. write down their code somewhere so they don't have to call reception a dozen times. Maybe you can have a look around the room and I call you if Mr. Creep comes back. You know, so you can get out of there in time. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, it's nothing. Oh, and Beth? Mm -hmm. Please keep this between us. Of course. Alright, so based off that, I'm sorry for the eating in the mic, but based off that, um, achievement or trophy, and just got it. That's, you know, who's gonna be with us throughout the game. I mean, like, I know I said I already watched how the gameplay went, but, like, I don't know how... It went if it's like you do Andrew or stuff like that, so well. I'd forget my own head if I didn't write everything down. I guess we have that in common. More film. Did you intend for me to discover your little dark room? Or did this just fall down? Hmm. That's a lot of film. How many pictures have you taken, Mr. Spade? Mm. 
probably should throw these away because they could contain pictures and stuff of us or like say if it like he took he did anything probably get caught up too can't love that so uh, the creep but No combination, no entry. Hmm. Inspect this lighter. How are you supposed to support yourself when no one will give you a job or a place to live? Yeah, it says, I understand your situation. I'm sorry you had to spend so many years in the hospital. However, this does not change the fact you don't have the qualifications for the job. And even if you did, I could not hire someone in your situation. Other staff members simply would not feel safe around you. I will ask you to not contact me anymore. Jeremy Sandberg. Hey, weirdo, stop wasting my time. I'm not hiring you ever. Mr. Morgan, I know... You know I have a lot of respect for what you and others have done for this country, but I am not charity. If I re if I don't receive the past three months of rent for the end of the week, you will have to vacate the apartment. That's crazy. You're pawning off your possessions? What do you need the money for? Yeah. We're going through a rough time though. Like, you know, I get it, you know? You're a vet, you gotta throw off certain stuff. You know, different people in the military go through different things, so it makes sense. Or that get out of the military, at least. Oh, I was wondering why it locked me in. The lake? Favorite lake. Favorite lake. I took mom skating there just a few weeks ago. These look like numbers. Sort of. These look like numbers. Sort of. Hmm. C twenty six. I 
just visited the oratory for the first time in years. This has to be a coincidence, right? Come. This was the sale where I found that winter jacket that mom loves. Were you there too? <laughs> Apparently, shoot. Here's I was everywhere. Too. Were we ever there at the same time? Hmm. You didn't strike me as much of a doodler. I say it's high with the number four in it. T30. One man's trash is another maid's trash. Brr. Thirties away. Something tells me you won't be missing this. Does that say scam? <laughs> yeah, bright. Just eating some of that scam. I hope you weren't eating those beans. Oh, those were open. Oh, I don't know. Footsteps. That's, that's my schedule. Just how long have you been watching me? Hmm. under Mr. Spade. Dang, so Lindsay's mother was getting tired of him writing letters. What is going on upstairs, bro? Or on the floor. You heard that in the background? Well, not in my background, but in the game. Tell me some. I should, <coughs> should throw away them cigarettes because you don't need them. Perception gave him a code. Maybe he wrote it down somewhere. Locked. There has to be a key somewhere. Okay. 
Okay, it says, don't forget to take your pills. <laughs> Just threw that away. Can we not clean that up? Oh, uh, go. The storm must be getting worse. I hope mom's not too bored without her TV shows. What do we have here? A key. Oh. No one at school suspected what took place once their doors was locked. Yeah, probably should throw that away. Mm -hmm. Especially with the the, the time it is around then. Yeah, no, I better. Don't want to get caught uh, caught up reading that. You spent ten years in a psychiatric hospital, and it looks like you left with a long list of diagnoses. And prescriptions. Mm. <clears throat> Paul, forty two. Okay. I already looked at the uh, no combination, no entry. I'm sure I'll find more laundry to add to the pile. Another day, another dirty dish to pick. Let's put those on the bathroom shelf. Oh, I left the clean towels on my cart. Calm. The call uh, re the recording again. Yeah, no surprise Bernard denied the request. Mrs. Beaumont's been here so long, we could probably just put her name on the door at this point. Hmm, call. Okay. Lindsay's address, infantry division, hospital, year of hospital discharge. Is he here? He... what? No. Beth, you said you'd call if Mr. Spade was coming back to his room. Oh, yeah, I did say that. 
Sorry for the fright. Oh my god, Beth. I nearly had a heart attack when I heard the phone ring. I didn't mean for it. I was just so caught up in the thrill of it all. I had to check in. Did you find more pictures of you? No, I haven't. But I did find something else. Yeah? He's got a kind of yarn map of Montreal on the wall. Docker. Where does it lead to? Lots of places. Most of them I've visited recently. Merde. What's the deal with this guy? I think you may be using an alias. I found some evidence that points to his real name being Paul Morgan. Paul Morgan. Well, not the first man to check into a hotel under a fake name. Is it really common practice? It is, when the man in question is married, but the woman accompanying him isn't. Or at least, not to him. Hmm. Considering the state of his room, I doubt Mr. Morgan was expecting any visitors. Did Morgan. You find anything else? He seems to be in love with this woman who doesn't love him back. You mean you? No, no, someone else. I found lots of letters addressed to a woman named Lindsay, but she returned them all to sender, unopened. Are you sure it's love and not obsession? Maybe he stalked her like he's stalking you. I don't know. Whatever it is, I find it strange she didn't open the letters before sending them back. I would have had a look at them first. <laughs> of course you would have. <laughs> so, is that all you found then? He has this book with do, 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 do. Women on the cover. I don't think Playboy magazine qualifies as a book. No, no, it's not. It, it's a novel. It's called. Um, and, and they, they were, were roommates. Oh, I see. And I suppose these women on the cover are really good friends, aren't they? What do you mean? Well, if it's what I think it is. It's probably one of those trashy books for men who secretly fantasize about two women getting real cozy with each other. What is it that makes them so trashy? Do 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 do. Down the stairs, her heavy breast jounced under her veiled nightgown. That doesn't even mean anything. I know. But there's the word breasts every other sentence, so apparently that's enough to get some men aroused. Wow. <laughs> I can't say I'm surprised Mr. Creep is into this stuff. Found anything else on him? I'll know more once I open the safe. Oh, so you found the combination? Yeah, sort of. I'm impressed. Well done, Arsène Lupin. What? Oh, uh, never mind. Don't let me keep you. Okay, I'll call you back. Yeah, you better. I won't call again unless Mr. Morgan returns. For real this time. All right. Thanks. Hospital discharge year. 57. So it's fifty seven. Lindsay's address, infantry division. Ninety ninth infantry. Ninety nine. Okay, so ninety nine. Ninety nine, thirty four, fifty seven, ninety nine, thirty four, fifty seven. 
Garfield. Really nice to meet you, Garfield. Oh, it's thirty-four ninety-nine fifty-seven. Okay, so. Open it up, open it up. Oh, whoa, bro got a, bro got a gun in there. We need to take this gun. He just got to buy him more film, cause. Sophie, you should probably put this down. No. Say throw it away. M and H. M and H. Who are they? Are they guests here? You're... <laughs> you really want to find out what M and H are up to? Get into a taxi, try to follow, but I had no money for a cab. Found a pawn shop to get some money, but no idea where M and H went. Back in my room, we'll have to kill time until M and H return. Spy M and H entering the hotel with Weston shopping bags. Found M and H eating at the hotel's restaurant. H left for the bathroom. M exchanged a few words with a woman and her child. M and H left the restaurant, probably turning in for the night. While leaving, H emptied pocket, pockets in the trash. Searched trash, found a receipt for, from a place called Harry's Dining Diner with drawings and weird symbols on it. Took a coffee at Harry's Diner, showed picture of M and H waitress. Waitress remember them, said M used to be a regular about 10 years ago. Back in my room, tried mapping M and H's movements since their arrival in Montreal. Unable to sleep again, heard someone exiting room 507, but not hear the elevator. Why are you following them? And who's sneaking out at night? So many questions. M and H left the hotel, got to a taxi, followed them to a place called Mount Royal. M and H went skating on frozen lake fell on the ice while trying to take a picture h might have seen me I mean, h ate the at the lounge and left a ticket on the table ticket has a weird symbol on it Harry's diner receipt I mean, h decided to leave because of snowstorm I mean, h arrived at the hotel shortly after me h looked angry like something happened during a taxi ride but what no sign of it been h Early morning tonight, we'll try to figure out who's making out at night. That was taken in the lobby. That was taken in the lobby. Throw away these binoculars.
Hopefully throwing away those notes are not a bad idea. I'm sure I'll find more laundry to add to the pile. Sure, I'll find more laundry to add to the pile. I'm sure I'll find more laundry to add to the pile. <laughs> hmm. Oh, I was only supposed to do partial. Room order for a reason, Sophie. <clears throat> yo, yo. Do not disturb. You have a room order for a reason, Sophie. Five oh six complete. Do not disturb. Well, you have a room order for a reason, Sophie. Ooh, there's a cold breeze coming up. Stick to your room order, Sophie. I'm getting ahead of myself. I'll come back to this one later. Blocking the stairs seems dangerous. What if the elevator breaks down again? I guess whoever won't be stuck in the I elevator. Have all the supplies I need. Not, yeah, they're gonna be stuck in the elevator. That's what I meant to say. I'll come back to this one later. I don't know. <sighs> oh, I probably need a call bet. That's probably the problem.
do 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 do. A journal. His journal? Does he say why he's stalking you? No, but it seems he's stalking two other people as well. Oh, who are they? They're guests. I don't know their names though. I I was hoping you could find them in the logbook. Well, Snoopy. Although it may seem like it, I'm not actually clairvoyant, so I'll need something to narrow the search. Do you know anything about them? Mr. Morgan refers to them as H and M. Well, that could mean a lot of things. It could be their initials, or, I don't know, husband and mistress. Oh, I, I hadn't thought of that. Yeah, I'll need a little more to go on. Hmm. Uh. I found out that Mr. Morgan made a request to be transferred to room 507, but it was denied because... That's Mrs. Beaumont's room. Exactly. Why change rooms when his entire setup is in 505? I'm not sure. I, I just thought it might be related. Maybe, but... Hmm, would you look at that. There's a couple staying in room 509. Hector and Marcella Cruz. Hector and Marcella. H and M! Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Mm, yep. Do you know anything about the cruises? Well, I saw them come in and out of the hotel a few times. Called a taxi for them once. The missus does the smiling and the other frowns a lot. Nothing to write home about. Do you have room 509 on your to-do list by any chance? I do, actually. Then maybe you go clean it and have a little look-see? Yeah, nothing unusual here. Just a maid cleaning a room. That's my girl. I'll call you if I find anything. Just be careful, okay? I will. I promise. We totally will be careful. But I'll be back, guys.